I want to thank the opportunity to Rogers for doing this for us. And my name is Doug Little. I'm running for the Office of Mayor for the Township of Agilitas Rontio. First and foremost, I want to lead a council working as a team for our community. I will keep our taxes one of the lowest in the county. Our tax dollars need to be spent on the needs of our residents and infrastructure, not on consultants. As development expands in Everett, I will work towards a new public school located in that village. We need to stop the lip, lip service on recreation and actually do something. I will continue to support the needs of our volunteer fire department. Our council would benefit from working with the farming community, setting up markets and community gardens. We can strengthen our tax base with a strong economic development plan. I will continue to work closely with the upper tier government on affordable housing needs in our area. Our whole community needs to support the redevelopment of our community hospital. I will continue working on to provide high-speed internet service to all areas of our township. I ask once again for your support and to work on your behalf as mayor to keep Agile Toss Ronald a place we can be proud to call home. Thank you. Dear residents, my name is Floyd Pinto and I decided to run for mayor of Agila Tostronto after eight years on council. If elected, I will continue to work for your best interests, stop wastage and respect your hard-earned tax dollars. I will immediately attend to the financial problems in the township. Any property tax increase will have to be justified as residents are struggling to pay bills. Immediately cancel the OPA 15, the expansion of Everett. Residents' concerns with all development will have to be addressed. Immediately cancel the 9.6 million and 5.8 million approved by council to be budgeted in 2019 and 2024 to benefit developers using either our tax dollars or debt. Development has already put our township in 3.5 million debt that comes due in 2029 and we pay more than 150,000 annually only in interest. I will work with residents and council to reduce the high water and sewer rates that residents pay. I will never force the existing residents to hook up to the new sewer plant. I will apply for grants to fix our failing infrastructure. Listen to and work with the residents. This is our township. This is our home. We have a right to know how our hard-earned tax dollars are being spent. I humbly ask you to support me and elect me as your mayor for the next four years. Together, we can make this happen. Thank you. My name is John Greer and I'm running for Deputy Mayor of Agilitas Aranio. I've been a long-time resident of Agilitas. I was born and raised in the area. I'm married. I have three children. I'm recently retired. I was a high school teacher for 31 years with Dufferin Peel. I had the honor of representing the residents of Ward 4 as councillor from 2003 to 2006. I decided not to continue that uh, term because of family and work commitments. Since I was on council, I've been extremely active in our community. Presently, I'm the president of our Agilitas Aranio Residence Association. Our association works collaboratively with the township to run diversion days, candidate festivities. We work with the OPP to work on Bike Like the Best for residents of our community. We also do many other community events. <clears throat> I have been on the Committee of Adjustment since 2006 and presently I'm the Chair of the Committee of Adjustment. From 2016 to present, I've been a Director on the Nautilus Saga Futures and presently I'm Corporate Secretary. Um, <clears throat> the next term of Council is going to be an extremely important term. Agile Tassarani is going to, ex uh -oh. is going to experience extreme growth. We have to make sure that our infrastructure is ready for this growth. Infrastructure includes roads, emergency services, 
recreation for all residents. My name is Bob Meadows. Out of my commitment to transparency, honesty and accountability, I am running for Deputy Mayor in order to be actively involved with a long overdue and desperately needed change for the better in Agila Tosseranio. Res residents deserve a new and strong council who will work with them and the township, treating everyone equally. In order to become more involved in my community, I've been a volunteer firefighter with the Rosemont Fire Department for over 12 years. During my term as councillor, I have supported my residents, kept my 2014 promises and made informed decisions based on retrieving and analyzing complete information, which includes listening and addressing the concerns of our citizens, of our community, which is then directly reflected in my voting. I believe fiscal responsibility must be a priority and all expenditures must be transparent and accountable. The official plan needs updating, meeting current provincial guidelines and followed. Our infrastructure is in disrepair and is in desperate need of upgrading. We must stop development in floodplains and terminate the haulage of contaminated backfill in our township. Responsible development projects and agreements must address human, environmental and agricultural concerns as well benefit our community. If elected, my focus will be on ensuring that these issues are addressed and resolved in the best interest of the community as a whole. Building houses does not build communities. People do. Thank you. One of the greatest rights we have in Canada is to have your say. In Ontario, this right is one of the pillars that ensures democracy in our local municipal and school board elections. It gives you the freedom of choice and a voice to your opinions in choosing the municipal and school board representatives in your community. If you are at least 18 years of age, a Canadian citizen, and a resident of or own property in Ontario, you can participate in your local municipal and school board elections this fall. One way to make this process more efficient is to verify that your name is on the preliminary list of electors used to prepare the voters list for election day. You can confirm or update your information conveniently at voterlookup.ca. The process is just three simple steps and should only take you a few minutes to complete. First, fill in your personal details. Next, select the options that best describe your situation. The system will confirm your elector status and or prompt you for additional information if required. And finally, verify and save your information. It's as simple as that. So remember, have your say. Log on today. Hi, my name is Annette Bays and I'm running for the position of Councillor in Agila Tosserantia Ward 1. This has been my family home for 35 years and I love this area. I want to have a part in safeguarding all that is so great about our community for the future. For three and a half years now, I have become more and more involved in township issues. I have attended council meetings and OMB hearings, met with the mayor and senior staff, worked with local groups of residents, and spoken out at council and through the press. Through this involvement, it has become increasingly apparent to me that we are in desperate need of a change of leadership and direction. Despite all the time and energy I have put in, I feel I have had very little actual impact, so I decided that to really make a difference, I would have to run for council. If I get elected, I will do all I can to keep Agtos the beautiful, rural, agricultural community that it is, while improving the much in neglected infrastructure and ensuring that any future development fits with the character of our township and doesn't impact our taxes or cost the present residents in any way. I want to see sensible, productive use of our tax dollars, which is why I fought so hard to reduce post-retirement benefits. I want to see some adherence to our official community plan and our procedural bylaws and policies. I want openness and transparency in our township offices and a new level of respect shown for the concerns of our residents. Thank you for listening. My name is Bill Boston. I'm running for council 
in Ward 1 in Adjutant Tassel Round Hill. I've been a counselor from 2003 to 2006. Previous to that, I was on the Planning Advisory Committee. The reason why I decided to run again is uh, bring back some professional uh, uh, issues uh, back onto council, which we haven't had for the last four years. Uh, my uh, concerns are is the development in Colgan, uh, the internet lack of internet service, the which is Swift trying to put in here. Uh, there is and the budget that the township has been putting through, which seems to be increasing readily. I want to put a stop to that and hold it to about a 1.8 percent increase, roughly cost of living. Uh, other issues is Highway 9 intersections. Uh, that's, they're the, the main issues uh, in, in Ward 1. So again, as I say, I lived in this township for the last 48 years. My name is Ambrose Keenan, but most of you know me as Sam. And since 2010, it has been my privilege to represent the residents of Ward 2. My family has lived in Isla Tassarantio since the early 1800s, and I am proud to call it my home. Most of my work and career was with Bell Canada in the construction, management training, human resource, and accounting departments. And throughout this time, I either owned or co-owned several small businesses. And this experience has served me well in my role as a counselor. I take pride in the fact that I've always done my best to represent the residents of Ward 2, while at the same time never losing track of the bigger picture, and that is what is best for the overall good of the municipality. I am deeply passionate about our municipality, and if re-elected, I promise to continue to represent the residents to the best of my ability. And being retired, I do have the time. So on October 22nd, do get out and vote. Hopefully for me, but if not, vote for the candidate of your choice. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jonathan Pita. I'm running for a councillor of Ward 2 in the town of Agila to Sorontio. I believe a city council should be efficient, transparent, support good planning, and make decisions that respect our environment and natural resources. I believe that a city councillor's job is to represent all the people in their ward. I also believe a city councillor should have a positive relationship with residents, municipal staff, and other councillors. I believe the town of Agila to Sorontio should spend our hard-earned tax dollars wisely on things like repairing and maintaining our roads, bridges, and infrastructure. I believe it's time for a new council. If you believe what I believe, please come out on October 22nd and show your support. Thank you. One of the greatest rights we have in Canada is to have your say. In Ontario, this right is one of the pillars that ensures democracy in our local municipal and school board elections. It gives you the freedom of choice and a voice to your opinions in choosing the municipal and school board representatives in your community. If you are at least 18 years of age, a Canadian citizen, and a resident of or own property in Ontario, you can participate in your local municipal and school board elections this fall. One way to make this process more efficient is to verify that your name is on the preliminary list of electors used to prepare the voters list for election day. You can confirm or update your information conveniently at voterlookup.ca. The process is just three simple steps and should only take you a few minutes to complete. First, fill in your personal details. Next, select the options that best describe your situation. The system will confirm your elector status and or prompt you for additional information if required. And finally, verify and save your information. It's as simple as that. So remember, 
have your say. Log on today. Hello, my name is Janet Budgel. I'm running for Ward 3 in Agila Tassarantio, where I have lived for 12 years. Formerly, I served as a municipal councillor in Quebec. I was a nutritionist and health consultant for Children's Aid Facilities, the Union of Ontario Indians, and as a coordinator for a project in South America for Health Canada. I owned and operated an alternative health clinic for nine years and was vice president on condo boards in Toronto and the Blue Mountains. I co-authored a manual entitled Back to Basics for Community-Based Strategic Planning. This would be my first concern, to help create a one, four, and 20-year strategic plan, including achievable goals and measurable objectives in a very specific time frame, always with community input. Secondly, to assist in the development of portfolios for each councillor to address the needs of AGTOS. Thirdly, to reconstruct our numerous communities to truly reflect our community. And fourth, to obey the laws of the Ontario Municipal Act regarding accountability and transparency. Many of the important issues that must be addressed, such as taxes, the environment, communication, and infrastructure, would be included in a well-thought-out plan of action. I look forward to positive changes in AGTOS because we deserve it. I will be running for council in Ward 3, Agilo Tassarana. My wife and I have long, uh, been long residents of Agilo and I've raised our family. Uh, I've decided to run as councillor to give the people of Ward 3 and all the residents of Agilo Tassarana a strong voice when representing them on all matters. I have multiple terms of experience and I have been privileged of being chair of several committees while on council. I served as chair of planning, committee of adjustment, protection to people and property and other committees. I had been, it had been a great rewarding experience meeting and serving the residents. With this knowledge and experience, I work with excellent staff and residents. I feel more than qualified and ready to represent the residents of Angelo Tassarana. I speak for the people because I talk to the people. I will be available by phone, email, but prefer to talk in persons. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Rogers TV for giving me the opportunity to be part of Meet the Candidates. Thank you. If you're watching this today, it means you want answers. You're here on your own time because you care about this community and want to make sure I do as well. And the answer to that is yes. I am running for Ward 4 in Agila Tazarantio because Council needs a new infusion of talent and visionaries that will bring different experiences and fresh perspective to the Council table. For me, the role of Council is simple. I work for you. It's selfless service 
transparent, and ensuring that your voice is being heard. Together we can bring real solutions to this community and make it stronger than it is today. If we do things the way that they've always been done, then things will remain the same. Do you want to be known for the town that has an active gravel pit for the next 20 years? And the only town in North America that on November the 1st of this year will have an active hazardous waste depot located 180 meters behind an elementary school where 369 children from the ages of 4 to 14 are attending. Now listening to the residents of this town and ignoring the safety and being our future, our children and the environment is unacceptable. On October the 22nd, come out and vote for myself, Deborah Hall, for Ward 4, Agila Tazarantio. The change we need, the voice you deserve. Thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Dave Rose and I'm your current Ward 4 councillor and I'm hoping to be re-elected in the next term. My wife Leanna and my son Aaron and I have lived in Everett for over 11 years. I've been self-employed for over 25 years in the tire industry. I've always had an open door policy to my constituents. If I'm home, feel free to stop by and we'll discuss whatever you like. I currently sit on the Rosemont Fire Board and the Economic Development Committee and also the Recreation Committee, as well as the Accessibility Advisory Committee. I will continue to work towards a solution for the New Horizons issues. I will work for, for, toward recreational services for the township. I'm pushing forward for a new fire hall for Everett, as well as updates for the Works Department for better services for all our citizens. Bottom line, I'm a 55-year-old man who works hard, gets my hands dirty every day. I ran for council to be involved with the development that already had OMB approvals, and I'm very actively involved in, that, in how this development is unfolding. I've worked on many projects throughout the township, and I hope I have the opportunity to see some of these projects fulfilled. I'm asking you to consider re-electing me in the next term. Thank you, Dave Rose. I'm Will Koski from Lyle, where I've lived for the past six years. I'm running for Ward 5. I believe if we work together, we win together. I believe our council needs to implement this now more than ever. It requires voices to be heard and a council that will listen. I decided to run for council after attending meetings and observing how our community is being run. <clears throat> Change is needed in various areas and sometimes it requires a new set of eyes to see what is most important. We need to support our community by providing safer roads, high-speed internet coverage, and updating the bylaws. Growth and expansion needs to be according to what the OMB has approved and not cause added tax expenses to the community. I am new to the political world, and I believe that transparency, honesty, and being a voice of the people goes a long ways. I will represent Ward 5 as a down-to-earth resident who is looking out for the future of our community. I would be honored to be your new counselor. Thank you. One of the greatest rights we have in Canada is to have your say. In Ontario, this right is one of the pillars that ensures democracy in our local municipal and school board elections. It gives you the freedom of choice and a voice to your opinions in choosing the municipal and school board representatives in your community. If you are at least 18 years of age, a Canadian citizen, and a resident of or own property in Ontario, you can participate in your local municipal and school board elections this fall. 
One way to make this process more efficient is to verify that your name is on the preliminary list of electors used to prepare the voters list for election day. You can confirm or update your information conveniently at voterlookup.ca. The process is just three simple steps and should only take you a few minutes to complete. First, fill in your personal details. Next, select the options that best describe your situation. The system will confirm your elector status and or prompt you for additional information if required. And finally, verify and save your information. It's as simple as that. So remember, have your say. Log on today. program is brought to you by Rogers Anyplace TV. Enjoy exclusive content for free. Visit RogersAnyplaceTV.com. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. This is Rogers TV. Borden Alliston. Are you new to Aurelia and aren't sure if you're on the voters list? The City of Aurelia can provide answers to all your questions regarding voter registration, location, times, and the new city war boundaries. Visit aurelia.ca slash election 2018. A properly fitting life jacket or personal flotation device will keep the wearer afloat.